We all love our canine companions and exploring the great outdoors with them. We take them for walks around the town, to the park, out hiking. Some of them may even get to enjoy time out hunting or boating with their families. But today, we're going to focus on swimming. Many dogs hate it, many dogs love it. But what about Ridgebacks? Do Ridgebacks like swimming? Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Ridgebacks. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Ridgebacks. So if you're a lifelong Ridgeback lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Ridgeback, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Ridgeback video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see how Ridgebacks feel about getting their paws wet. Swimming is something almost everyone is familiar with, whether or not they own a dog. Being in the water is great exercise and is a fab way to cool off on those hot summer days. But people aren't the only ones who enjoy a dip in the pool. Many dog breeds have a love for water and there are a lot of them that were bred to have a predisposition for enjoying a good swim, such as the Newfoundland and the English Setter. But even those breeds who weren't bred to make wave love to swim, some more than others. Today we're looking at how the notable Ridgeback feels about swimming. First we're going to take a look at their origin. Ridgebacks were originally used as hunting dogs in South Africa. They were used to hunt big game, more specifically they were used to hunt lions. Yes, this dog was used to hunt lions. And before that their ancestors were used to guard and protect villages and the families that lived in them. That being said, their profession and the region they hail from doesn't leave them with much in a way of exposure to water. And with a short coat of physique made for hunting, these dogs really weren't made to swim. That's not to say they can't, any dog can learn, but it isn't a built-in trait for this breed. Ridgebacks are an active breed that need at least two hours of vigorous exercise a day to be happy and healthy. So swimming would be a great way to get this active breed some much needed exercise. Though there's one wrench in the plan, most Ridgebacks don't like the water. They'll go to extremities to keep from stepping in puddles and might downright refuse to go out in the rain. This breed is known to loathe the water and getting wet. They aren't fond of humid cold weather either, which is odd considering most of them love the snow. Most Ridgebacks don't like being bathed, they just have a natural dislike of water, though there are a few rare ones that will love the water and never want to leave. So how do we get this breed to enjoy swimming? It all starts when they're a puppy. The earlier you start exposing your Ridgeback to water, the easier it will be to get them to take a swim, and the more confident they will be. But regardless of whether you're working with a new puppy or an older dog, it's important to let them have control of the situation. You want to start small. Let them set the pace and be there to encourage them. Start with something simple like a baby pool, fill it a few inches deep and stand in the middle with one of their toys. Encourage the dog to step in, but let them step out of the pool when they want to and don't force them to get in. It should be easy for them to get in and out of the water at their own pace and not to make them more nervous than they already are. With any luck, you'll be able to amp up the amount of water and have a Ridgeback who loves to go swimming with the family. But we cannot stress enough that it's always important important to go at your dog's pace when exposing them to new things or things they have a fear of. If you force them into it, they'll become more stressed and even more anxious the next time they encounter it due to the bad experience. So slow and steady wins the race and positive reinforcement is the way to go. Lack of exposure, environment and temperament are typically the reason a Ridgeback may not enjoy a good swim. But in general, this breed just does not like the water. If they've never been around it, of course, it's scary. It's new and their leader will need to teach them that new doesn't mean scary. It can be fun and if confidence is instilled in the dog, they'll generally do fine. The younger this starts, the better because they'll have more time to make positive associations with the swimming and being around water in general. But some dogs are just nervous and don't like the water and that's okay. It's normal and shouldn't be seen as too big of a concern unless it also translates into a fear of being bathed and groomed. Thankfully, this breed shouldn't need too many baths and you'll have time to work on it. So with the Ridgeback, they do not like water. This breed wasn't made for water work and they prefer to stay away from it. But swimming does have some great benefits if you have a Ridgeback who does like going for a dip. It's great for their overall health as well as being a great cardio workout. It'll get their blood pumping and can even help keep their cholesterol in check. You'd think exercise like that would be hard on the joints, but with swimming, that's not the case at all, which makes it ideal for older Ridgebacks or ones suffering from hip dysplasia. 
It strengthens the muscles and joints and is lower impact due to the body's buoyancy in water. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Ridgeback videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Ridgeback Show.